I like this one way better than I like the first one. Eh, I did. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hey guys, it's G and Anthony from the F Word, and today we're talking a spoiler full Deadpool mm-hmm. Two. Deadpool Two, big big hit. The first one came out, knocked everybody on their ass. Uh, the marketing was a huge part of it, and the marketing was a huge part of this one. Stuff happens. Obviously, we lose his love interest, which was the whole point of the first one. And then we've got Cable, we've got the X Force, and then we've got Deadpool trying to be a father figure. Yes, to uh, like it seems like a uh, stereotype for every thirteen year old Xbox gamer. Yeah, calling, Fire Fist. Who's saying that he wants to ban your mom on Xbox Live. That's the image I imagined the guy looking like. Okay, I could see that. I could see that. Um, so yeah, Cable's in this. Now Deadpool has to stop Cable from killing Russell because Russell's going to do some stuff later on. And then... But then they team up in the end to yeah. you know, defeat the bear threat like Batman or Superman, but yeah. it was done good. Yeah. And then uh, that's, that's pretty much the movie. It's Deadpool trying to find... I guess, his heart again, or put his heart in the right yeah. place kind of deal. Let's get right into it. So, you like this. Yes. And you liked it better than the first one. I said way better. Way better? But I will not say way better, because it wasn't like, the first one was bad, but yeah. I did like this one better. Okay. And so, what were the, your favorite parts of this? I just liked how there's more of a story to this one, where it was okay. just kind of him like trying to kill somebody, and there's kind of like more layer to it. I liked the characters more, like I liked... How Deadpool was. I liked Colossus. Had a little heel turn in the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked, you know, Yukio. Is it Yu-Gi-Oh or Yukio? I think it's Yukio. Yukio? Yeah. And I liked Domino. For some reason, I just really liked her character. I didn't think I'd give a shit about her, but I did. You liked Cable, though? You liked, yeah, did you Cable. like Russell? Did you like uh, some other factors of it? Or I liked how it was just more like... Like, they did a lot of, like... They were really stuck their neck out in the first one. Yes. But it's not like they kind of pulled back or did the same jokes over and over in this one. Okay. Because they had the X-Men joke where, like, oh, yeah, what? Like, the suit can get us enough X-Men. You just see the whole cast of X-Men close the door. Which I thought was hilarious. That was such a great cameo. They did a lot of, like, ballsy shit. Like, they referenced a lot of, like, a lot of properties, which I'm not sure. Yeah. They probably got permission to do, so. Well, I'm pretty, like, I mean, you could do well, whatever guess, yeah. you want, right? Um, yeah, they definitely, the cameo was really good. There was actually a Matt Damon cameo as well. He was, oh, the, yeah. he was the guy in the back of the truck when Cable also- first showed up. And Alan Tudyk. Brad and Pitt as Vanish or yeah, Mr. Vanish, Vanisher, Vanisher. Vanisher, the Vanisher, which that was my favorite cameo. That one was great. Did you notice Stan Lee cameo? I did not, and I, I was noticed it ask right you away. Where it was, uh, it was with a city shot, and it was okay. like on the right side, and there was a painting, a face, a face of him. Oh, I missed it completely. I thought oh. it was going to be like a legit him cameo, like that teaser they did months and months before, where he's going to help oh, yeah. somebody in the alley, and then he's like, "Zip it, Stan Lee." I was kind of hoping that was going to be in the movie because I thought that was great. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that cameo at all. I missed it completely. Um, yeah, I like this one. I'm still processing it. See, I like the first one a lot because I like the story that was there um, of what he was trying to do. It wasn't just him going out. For me, it wasn't just him going out to kill the guy. It was him because he he loved somebody, right? Mm-hmm. He's a guy who doesn't seem to have loved anybody. Then he found a kindred spirit and he was trying to have that, like, help her. Or, sorry, save her and save himself from dying from cancer. This one it w- was good. And I think it was good in sections, but it felt like a, it felt like what they did was a quick, quick, quick. And then they had slower moments. But there was a lot more emotional weight in this one, I felt. Um, especially, obviously, when they kill off his girlfriend. When, when they kill off Vanessa. I got spoiled by that month. I got a lot of things spoiled for me that I didn't even realize. Like the end yeah. credits scenes, for the Green Lantern like one especially. Oh, I didn't I got get that, that one, one spoiled. I don't even know how. I, I just remember seeing that somewhere online. Like, oh, wait, this sounds familiar. Yeah. And the girlfriend months ago somehow. Really? That's weird. It didn't really ruin the movie for me though. It was kind of like. Yeah. It was like plot. It was set up the plot. So it yeah. wasn't like a huge deal breaker. I loved how it started off with all that action. It started off like right into it. We are getting into this stuff. And, uh. It even went to the whole thing where the like they, they spoiled kind of what was going to happen, where he's going to yeah. die, and they had the Wolverine from Logan. And then uh, and Thanos used the Time Stone and then just brought everything back. Well, okay. Yeah, at the very end, he kind of retconned everything that had happened and stuff. Um, the, the, the humor was really good. I noticed there were a few jokes in there that if you didn't know what was going on... Logan. If you, you didn't see have, Logan, you would have no idea. If you didn't see Logan, if you never knew about Martha, if you didn't know about the DC, um, there was the Passion of the Christ one. Which was funny because, you know, it's, um, I saw in another review that they mentioned it, kind of like an inside baseball type of thing. 
So when he was talking about the box office for The Passion of the Christ mm-hmm. versus this one, I think it was, it was like they beat it out because it's the highest grossing R-rated movie, or at least the first one was. And so that was kind of like, that could have gone over your head. I thought it was funny. And then there's one other one I can't remember. Um, X-Force was great. Domino was my favorite. And I love, love, loved the X-Force sequence when they all died. Yeah, that was... That was so great. And and I, I love thought how I went w- back in time and just saved Peter, though. Oh, yeah. No one yeah, else. Yeah, just Peter. Uh, and I'm and I'm happy they did that because when I saw it in the trailer, I'm like, Peter is gonna ruin this movie for me, and and he totally didn't. Juggernaut. Yeah, that was that was I cool. Was, I thought it was, was gonna be Wolverine. And I was wrong. Oh man, if it was Wolverine, that'd been a whole game, different ball game. Um, I like that they brought Juggernaut because Brett Ratner. I hate Brett Ratner as a director, and he screwed up Juggernaut in the well, he screwed up everything in uh, X three, and so the the whole Vinnie Jones I'm Juggernaut bitch thing did not like it. And so I'm glad that they were able to do that. And Colossus, actually watching them go toe-to-toe, which was really cool. And we have our first, uh, I guess, officially, official uh, lesbian superhero in Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Because she has a girlfriend. Is that the first official one? I think so that they've put on screen. Which I thought was really cool. Because I talk about Yukio. Was I the only one who kept on, like, who I just kept on reminding me of Mattis from Infinity War and Guardians? Now the Oh, now, okay, good. I I didn't get that at all, but I like that now. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, she kind of had that Mantis vibe to her. I'm also sad. Like, super wasn't... happy, super whatever, and yeah, okay, I get that. I I'm can see that. disappointed that there weren't more Infinity War references. I'm pretty sure there's only one. Uh, he called them Thanos. Uh, sure straight up called them Thanos. Yeah. Which I think was fine. And that's a tough part, because Josh Brolin was in both, right? But, um... Yeah, overall, like, there was a lot of, like, there was way more good things in this for me than there were bad, okay? Not to say that. The first one, I think a lot of it had to do with it being lightning in a bottle. Everything worked out great. The marketing for this was great. I love the James Bond opening. Oh, yeah. I thought that was that was awesome, and, and it was it was really well done. And, again, it is a story about family, and I actually bought this family more than I bought the Fast and the Furious family, and they say family in there, like, 23 times, and but I bought... The idea of family in this one more. I'm just gonna say like CGI was pretty good. Uh, one thing yeah. I want to say that sucked though, but this isn't like really like, bad things to ruin the movie. There was no X Force suit Deadpool, except for when he's burned at the end. Yeah, I think that was yeah. I think that was the only kind of reference for it. And I thought in the trailers it was gonna be like actual that. But segueing into that, we'll get into maybe some negatives that we got. So the X Force uh, suit, which was kind of teased, and it straight up looked like it, mm-hmm. um, but wasn't. Yeah. Just an ashy version of him because Russell was being Russell. And then uh, any other negatives for you? Uh, look, after watching it, like we watched it last night, yeah, I don't really know any negatives. Like the jokes weren't overused. Okay, like he didn't really reference jokes in the first one. Okay, characters worked well together. I don't know, it might be, but not right now. Did not care for T.J. Miller. I'm yeah, I'll tell yeah, that. No, uh, he it, it, the it, jokes he used were a lot from the first one, and that yeah. just it wasn't funny. And he felt like he didn't care to be there. I, I didn't actually feel he wanted to be there. Um, especially with the energy that Ryan Reynolds had as Deadpool. So that was a bit of a bummer. Not that I love TJ Miller, but, you know, he was part of the marketing, he's part of the thing, and I just thought it was whatever. Um, I wish there was more Cable, but I think what this is leading up to is more Cable in the future, where, like, we got shades of it, especially towards the end. Didn't care for Russell. I thought anybody could have played Russell. Yeah, no. He was just kind of, I like, he, he, was just, he was just annoying. I understood his storyline, though, and I did like that they did go with a storyline where he was an abused kid. So it did give dead and, and it showed a lot of big side to Deadpool where he's like, y- you were abused. Um, I, he was abused to get his powers. So yeah, it, it made sense for Deadpool's motivation. I just didn't care for Russell as a character. I thought he was a little bit annoying. It really slowed down in some sections. And I mentioned it before where it went quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, kind of like a dance. The, the slow parts were really slow. And I like, like, in, in the earlier sections, they did speed it up, especially with the Vanessa part where he was, you know, with this weird kind of blocking mm-hmm. thing, so he can't go in, his heart is in the right place. And some of the jokes were good, but again, I think a lot of them were based on the fact that you did need to yeah, know some information, so for the general uh, audience. The ending, when he was dying 50 times, mm, I thought it was old. one or two too many times. If it was one or two more times, then I would have been fine with it. But it got a little bit old, and it really was drawn out. And the Vanessa part where he turned into Ryan Reynolds after, I also thought that was a little too much. I mean, that was kind of his goal to try to get there, but I thought it was a little bit more than it needed to be. Um, 
But, I mean, it didn't take away from anything. And I thought it was going to be a bigger battle as opposed to, like, this school battle against a bunch of nobody psychiatric, like, doctors or nurses Well, for or Deadpool, I don't know what you can really do for the... But that's that's pretty much it. Um, again, it, it had a lot more action to it. I just, some parts of it le- left it a little bit more disjointed than the first one was for me. So, yeah, final verdicts. Good. Yeah. Good sequel. Like, damn good sequel. And you usually don't get this. And if it is the only one less than the Deadpool franchise, it no. was a good way to go out. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, the yeah, and I, I mentioned how like the I mentioned how the Infinity War post credit scene was like the most important one and the best one based on what's going to happen. No, this had the best like four like sequence of post credit scenes ever. I thought it was great. Everything with Domino and Deadpool was just great, and I was excited for her. Um, and I th- I love that she could prove everybody wrong at least for me. Yeah, she's like another like, example of just like shutting up. Before yeah. we see a movie and hitting yeah. on somebody. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, she was awesome. They were really creative with it, too. And when you switch directors, there's always that risk. But I think they did a really good job. David Leach did a great job, which you know from John Wick. From the guy that killed John Wick. From the oh, guy who killed John Wick's dog. Yeah, and, and it starts off very differently than the other one. Um, but, yeah, overall, this is a definitely, definitely a good sequel. I'm still on the fence. I don't think it's better than the first one. But I also have seen the first one many, many times, so I think I need to see this one a couple more times. I'm gonna see it again. So yeah, you but you, you're oh, you're yeah. on like the this is better than the first one. Yes. Hey, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So that's our spoiler full review of Deadpool 2, which is out in theaters right now. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen it, what you thought of it. Do you feel it beats out the first one? Does it not? Tell us the reasons why. Did you see Stan Lee in theaters? Did you end up seeing Stan Lee? Because I totally missed him. And any other cameos that we may have missed here. You can find me on Twitter at the F Words G. You can email us at the F Podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. You can also hear audio content on Anchor, Apple Music, Pocket Cast, and Radio Tunes. And until next time, I'm G. I'm Anthony. And we're out.